Good morning, Lieutenant Patterson. It's a pleasure to see you again. You're looking well rested. Good. I'll need you in tip top shape for your new assignment. You've proven to be quite resourceful, especially your performance most recently in scuttling U 4901. All things considered, you're the ideal candidate for this mission. So let's get down to brass tacks, shall we? The success of the Allied invasion of Normandy prompted an assassination attempt on the Fuhrer. A cadre of high ranking Nazi leaders planted a bomb during a meeting. Unfortunately, he survived. He's used this attempt on his life to clean house and solidify his power. Whatever remaining sanity the Nazi leadership possessed has been gutted by Hitler's subsequent arrests and executions. He has appointed new leaders more in tune with his insane ideals. That man is bent on sacrificing every last German citizen rather than accept defeat. We need to stop him cold and do it now. Reports from our allies in France suggest that there's been heavy activity in the port of Lorient, a manufacturing facility for their deadly U-boats. It was previously run by one of the would-be assassins. Now Hitler has one of his most trusted advisers in charge. Jimmy, we need to know what's going on at that base. We've arranged for you to be dropped on the outskirts of St. Mathieu, where our 101st Division is still encountering some resistance. Intelligence states that a German U-boat is making an unscheduled resupply stop at the seaport there. Our only opportunity to infiltrate this fortified shipyard is by smuggling you aboard this vessel and waiting until it reaches its port. I know it's tight quarters, Jimmy, but for you, familiar territory. We're sending you back to sea, my boy.
Poor! Answer me now! Private John Castro, 4516-16707. Be a dying thing! That's all you're getting out of me, Kraut. You Ist die Kiste schwer? Was hat ein Schaf da drinne? Das Zeug ist schwer wie Blei.
habe ihn gesehen. Also, Scheiße. warten wir dann. Wollen wir überraschen.
Falle!
with his kit.
Anh cho anh Linh
By 1940, Hitler's promise of no bombs dropped on German cities was rendered hollow by Allied heavy bombers. This drove home the reality that the Luftwaffe lagged behind the Allies in a number of areas. Field Marshal Goering needed an aircraft capable of shooting down Allied bombers before they had the chance to drop their payload on Germany, and this demand prompted the production of a revolutionary jet fighter different from any other aircraft Germany had produced before. This endeavor was named a 3 times 1000 project. It called for a heavy fighter capable of flying 1,000 kilometers distance at 1,000 kilometers an hour and with a 1,000 kilogram payload. To achieve this, the Germans turned to a team of brothers with an astonishing new design.